Eli 5 What is Narcissism? Narcissism is when a person has a very low sense of worth and self-esteem. But they cope with this low sense of self by putting themselves above others, in order to convince themselves and to make it seem as if they are better than everyone else. This low sense of self, and their coping by putting themselves above others, is paired with low emotional development empathy, emotional regulation. So yes, it could be that a person with narcissism cannot admit when they are wrong, but a person who cannot admit when they are wrong is not necessarily a narcissistic person. I was married to and divorced a narcissist. They have a deeply wounded ego and will do or say anything to protect boost it. They will gaslight, manipulate, lie and rage plus so much more to protect their ego. There are different types of narcissism. It was so hard for me to see or understand her behavior since I have, like many other, a well-adjusted ego. Go to YouTube and look for a Dr. Romani who gives more detailed and better explanation than I have. One last thought, you cannot win an argument with a narcissist. If an individual is just the right mix of self-perception and coping mechanisms, then the pattern of showing an inability to admit their wrong may be considered a narcissistic trait because it threatens their ego self-preservation. Every human has some flavor of narcissism, it's a flawed part of being human and common in kids teenagers. It does not mean they have NPD. The best thing you can do in this kind of situation is just disengage. You won't win, no matter how right you may be ha ha. Armchair psychologist here. Narcissists think they're better than everyone else and deserve to be treated as such. Having to be correct can be part of a narcissist's sense of self-importance. However, some people are just defensive as a result of how they were raised and otherwise don't display other narcissistic symptoms, like needing to be admired, lack of empathy, entitlement etc. Do your friends spout their BSBC they think they're superior and have little compassion for others? In the case of politicians it's not really a case of personality. They are pretty much taught by PR people to never admit any fault and use the classic evasion technique of answering the question by asking yourself a different question and answering that. Most journalists never challenge them on that. Maybe it's some kind of silent agreement that if a politician does that it's polite code for I'm not answering that question and the journalists take it as such. On several occasions I have proved them wrong, but they are still incapable of saying okay fair enough, I was wrong. Instead they come up with excuses as to why they could still, by some stretch, be right. So, there are techniques for convincing people to change their minds about something, and getting them to say they were wrong is not one of them. You want to convince someone to dig in? That's how you do it. Narcissism is the belief that everything is about you. Refusing to admit when you're wrong has nothing to do with narcissism. If anything, that would be stubbornness. People with narcissistic personality disorder crave attention and have a hard time accepting when they're not the center of attention. They also sometimes have a hard time with empathy. Not acknowledging the loss of an argument is not narcissism. I think most people dislike admitting that they are wrong but not because being wrong is bad, for example I don't care if I turn out to be wrong, it's good to be wrong that means you can learn more and get closer to the truth. I think most people do not like to be wrong because others make such a big deal out of it. Or that somehow being wrong will define you in their brain somehow. Narcissists are essentially toddlers, that have a fake adult persona. Everything the adult persona does is designed to protect this toddler. Think of the toddler as an extremely raw nerve. The pain of admitting one is wrong is so great they must deny, gaslighting, lie in order to avoid this raw pain and insecurity that the real persona suffers. I think the term you're looking for is cognitive dissonance. P.S. If their dumb paywall doesn't allow you access an article, just google cognitive dissonance. Knowing that you are correct gives confidence that the decisions you make are correct. Making the correct decision can be a matter of life and death every day, for example, not stepping out in front of a bus.